Lefty in for the Metal Gods Meltdown. And today I am joined by Michael from Amaltrack. So your album Accelerate has been out a short while. How yep. pleased are you with the reviews from me, media and fans so far? Yeah, we're pleased actually. Uh, uh, we've been working for this album uh, for like oh, it's a long time now. Uh, so, so it was really um, nice to release it. It's a long period. We uh, we started work uh, um, this album. 2018. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's a, a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, of course, we, we are really pleased with the reviews. And, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, Ammo Track, we, ha we have only released two full length uh, albums. So, mm -hmm. this is our third. And uh, you couldn't, I mean, we have so much more to give. Uh, so, 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 we're pleased. Brilliant. Yeah. So did you, did you guys have a release party for Accelerate then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, a big <laughs> one uh, in our uh, hometown here in uh, Sweden. Skövde is the name of the town. Right. Between Gothenburg and Stockholm. It's a little cool. town called Skövde. That's where we, we are from. And uh, we had um, we were actually in, uh, actually opening op an opening act for um, Hammerfall. Cool. Yeah, yeah. That must, that so must have been was, amazing. Uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of people, a lot of... Uh, I, I, we haven't been playing live for, you know, seven years. So it was... Uh, uh, we, we, I can tell you, we were really pumped. <laughs> I can imagine, man. <laughs> we're I mean... full of uh, power and action. And it, w it was an amazing, uh, amazing you know, night. Yeah. I can imagine. I mean, 2018 seems like a lifetime away now. And since then, we've had the pandemic and the world's gone to shit. Yeah. I mean, was it easy to draw inspirations for the album? Or was it, is it I mean, it's a good rocking, hard hitting, hard rocking album, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. And, and uh, you know, uh, we have been the band since, oh shit, I have to, yeah, it's almost 20 years. It is. 20 years next year we have been a band for like 20 years so the inspiration for this album was uh, and you know as uh, many bands uh, they lost members and uh, i mean they change members and so do we uh, and uh, the album we just wanted to it accelerate uh, it's time it's about damn time to accelerate <laughs> and uh, and we did i think we did a good job uh, it all, I mean, the pandemic, that was, it was really tough, but we, we weren't that, uh, we weren't playing live. So uh, uh, we just wrote music uh, and uh, yeah, and had fun. And, and I actually, we couldn't be playing live during the pandemic as well. So it, we, it was, we saved it till yeah. after. I think that was a smart choice. Now we're ready. Brilliant. So can you give us a little bit of insight into the album artwork and do you have that framed at home? Because it's really cool. I have it. I have it for you. Oh, you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. We really <laughs> like it. And and for the first time, we actually used uh, the train. I can yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah, I can. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, the band name, I, I uh, when we, how do you say, found the band name, I was looking in there. Uh, a lexicon, do you say that in English? Yeah, an old American lexicon. Yeah. And uh, I found the uh, uh, Amtrak, you know, the American uh, ray, uh, train uh, company, Amtrak. Yeah. And, and uh, I thought that our music should be like a train loaded with the uh, ammo. And uh, yeah. that's the music, that's the power, that, that, that's really what we want to communicate. And the guy who did this, uh, his name is uh, Christian Valin. Mm -hmm. Cool. He's a Swede, doing many, many covers now. He's, he's starting to get really popular. Yeah. It's and, awesome. Uh, yeah. We really like it. And it's it uh, like a good tattoo as well, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Absolutely. Right over my chest. 
<laughs> you've got to go for it, mate. Honestly, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so you played with Hammerfall. Are there plans for the year festival and tour wise, and maybe to hook up again with Hammerfall? Yeah, maybe. Hopefully, I think they liked us. I think we did a, a good job for them. Uh, uh, always, you, you need to. I, I mean, we we were selling a lot of T-shirts, you know, after the gig, and their fans uh, came to us and really liked us. So, so hopefully, we can. Uh, I mean, they are Swedes. They they are good guys. Um, yeah. I met Joachim Kahn. I met Joachim. We met the band met Joachim Kahn's for like twelve years ago. He was right. uh, arranging a, a festival in Mura, up in the north Sweden. Mm -hmm. We played, so we met him. Hopefully, the, we 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 just want to go out and uh, play music and tour, of course. Uh, so let's see. Uh, I mean, now it's easier when you have an album, I think. Yeah. Um, the whole package. And, okay. and, and also all the band, band members are living in the same town. We, have, we had some issues, oh, problems, you know. Our, our former uh, bass player, Jonas, he, he lived in Denmark. So it was quite hard to, you know, yeah. get things done and... Uh, rehearse and yeah Absolutely. so now we are more more ready than ever i think to to really go out and tour and play brilliant so who'd be the ultimate three bands to go on a tour with then dead or alive mm, i mean our inspiration we we uh oh, sorry the big bands let's say let's go with ghost yeah <laughs> cool if, if i can dream a bit yeah yeah uh, that would be awesome many many we we, we have actually been touring with the uh, harker superstar here in sweden uh, uh -huh. we did a tour with them and uh, it was many years ago but uh, that was really fun it's a good that's a really fun band to tour with i can tell you yeah, i can imagine <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah they're awesome. really good but then, um, yeah, that would be so. Uh, we we are really longing for it, uh, everyone. So uh, cool. let's 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 hope. Let's do it. Cool. Okay then. So going back to, I mean, it's been a while since you have been out on tour. Then, um, but when what would you say has been the the ultimate gig you've played so far? Mm. Oh, that's really um, hard. Uh, I, I mean, in front of many people, I would say uh, we actually did, you know, the Eurovision thing here in Sweden. Yeah. <laughs> Melody Festival. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Uh, that's that's not easy being a rock band in that, in that kind of, uh, I mean, competition or TV program. Yeah. But it was uh, really many people. I mean, three million people watching it on, on yeah. TV. Then... then um, uh, then, then they do like a tour in Sweden uh -huh. in different arenas, and yeah. there's a lot of people. That was a good, good experience. Uh, but we have played the uh, oh, many. I mean, the tour with the Harker Superstar in uh, in um, Finland and Germany was amazing. Uh, mm. Really good response and uh, good for us. And festival Sweden Rock. I mean, Sweden Rock Festival. Yeah, they yeah. played there uh, three times. Uh, right. Two, two of them was uh, when we were unsigned, and one uh, signed. So, sweet, uh, have you been to Sweden Rock? No, I want to go. I'd love to go. Yeah, I'd love to go. I, I this, see, is, this is a good year. Yeah, I seem to spend my life interviewing Swedish bands. So, yeah, <laughs> I should yeah, really. Should. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah. Love, love to, mate. Hopefully, you never know. All right. Uh, so then, can you tell us what's been your worst show then you played? Worst show. Hmm. Uh, I mean, we, we. I remember we did a tour in the northern part of uh, Sweden, and uh, the guy who booked the tour, uh, he he didn't really know uh, knew what what kind of band we we were. We right. we are. <laughs> right. 
so we 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 uh, he um, we ended up playing in a you know a discotheque a club more like you know yeah. uh, and we were like shit we are lost we <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy many of them and and i mean it's uh, we have played in front of two people three yeah. people so that's that's the worst gig of course yeah. but uh, it's also a very good uh, learning and uh, experience i mean you have to give it all uh, anyway absolutely yeah. i always think about when people say that i remember seeing freedom call you know freedom call there's yeah. about three people watching them it's horrendous it's just like then four years later they're at in rock the coast in spain massive massive yeah. amazing you know and that would yeah. be a yeah, that's the contract, and I I love it. I love yeah. it. That's I I mean, it's a long way to the top if you want to yeah. rock and roll. You have to do yeah. it all, and and uh, I mean we we've, we've been a band for twenty years, so I think we did, we did we have done quite much, but we are not happy. I I used to say to to uh, the fans who were, uh, was asking that uh, we have just started. The band has just started. Even though we we've been a band for twenty years, we have started. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So no wait, we'll see. <laughs> absolutely, man. Absolutely. Okay. So if there was a heavy metal song about yourself, what would it be called? Sorry, one more time, sir. If if there was a heavy metal song about yourself, what would it be called? Uh, the hmm. <laughs> The wild bastard, the wild <laughs> bastard on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. So, do you plan to release any more videos or singles then before you head out on a tour or anything this year? We we uh, we released uh, you know the the latest single uh, is uh, "Blinded by the Light" is the first yeah. track for the album and. And and we have actually released a couple of singles before that, so I don't think that we will come up with another song. Maybe maybe some uh, music video or something. Right. And then, uh, but I mean, we are so uh, how do you say so um, so into it now that we will uh, start uh, writing the next album. Uh, even though we have the album out and we want to you know play a lot of shows, but we. Yeah. Are, I think you have to be, uh, we will not, I mean, the last album we released in 2010. Wow. You can't release one album in 10 years. You need to speed it up. And that's yeah. uh, that's what what's it's about. It's about to accelerate. Yeah. You got to hear a lot of more from us. I can guarantee you that, Seb. That's brilliant. <laughs> that's great to hear, man. So yeah. then can you give me four words then to describe Am Trap? Mm, I would like to say uh, power is a strong word. I think we have the power. We have the um, what, what, four, four. You said four. Hmm? Yeah, please. Uh, uh, power, energy, high. Uh, it's fast. It's heavy. I mean, it's a. Uh, and it's very melodic. Okay. Is that enough? That's enough, man. Yeah, that's if, brilliant. If you, if you mix that, you will get them on track. It's fast, heavy. It's it's always uh, hard to uh, describe your own own music. I think uh, when 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 people are asking, I, I don't know. It's just rock and roll. But that's yeah. a quite a boring answer. But it's uh, I think that's the mix of hard and hard and melodic. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. And so it's now five questions, either or either. I've got my I've got a kitten going a bit mental. Hang on. Uh, I, I got a kitten a... as well. Here is one. Stop it. <laughs> All right. So five questions, either or either. So the first one is yep. festival or small intimate gig? Festivals. Me but that's a hard one. That's a hard yeah. one. I mean, yeah. Okay, but I say only one. Festivals. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Meatballs or beer? Beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a Swede. <laughs> Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And it's cheaper in Sweden than Norway, I hear. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It is. All right. 
vinyl or digital? I have so sorry one once again. Right, vinyl or digital? Vinyl. Now it's vinyl. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay. Yeah. Are you a saint or a sinner? Oh, I'm both. <laughs> I you only need one. Then I miss it. <laughs> All right, and the final one is ABBA or helicopters. Helicopters. Yeah, cool. <laughs> awesome, man. Well, let's hope you get over to the UK. I'll get out and around and about into Central Europe, Belgium, Germany, somewhere like that. Um, do you have any final words for your fans, our viewers, and listeners? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have. Uh, please, 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 please reach out to us, listen to us, give us your thoughts. Um, if you want us to come to your country, reach out, man. We will try to get there and we will try to, uh, yeah, please you with our music. Oh